Greetings in the Almighty God at name of Yeshua Hamashiha. This is your host Sherry Benjamin and you are listening to Minutes with Christ. Today we are going to listen to a small, a small and short teaching. The three dimensional works of the word of God. Now say there has been confusion in the body of Christ. People have been giving a little a different idea about the word of God. So I am going to give you some insight into the basics of the word of God. See there are three key words used to explain or to define the word of God. They are logos, the second one is called rema and the third one is called graphe. Again I repeat. There are three basic words used to explain or define the word of God. The first one being called Logos. The second one is called Rema. And the third one is called Graphe. Now let us look at the word called Logos. See Logos means a thought, a reasoning, a plan, the motive of God. In other way, you can say that the whole plan of God. Logos comprises the whole plan of God in his completeness. That is called Logos. Bible speaks about the word ever settled in heaven. So the revelation of the word of God is a complete thing. Logos, it is more, you know, it is be even before the word is written. Logos was centralized in heaven. Even before the Bible was there, the Logos was there. So first thing, Logos, it's something what you call the whole plan of God in the spirit realm. That is what in the book of John chapter 1 verses 1, the Bible say, in the beginning was the Logos. You see that? Then it goes and say, and the word of God was with the word was with God and the word was God. You see that comparison? In the beginning was the word, that means the logos, and the logos was with God. That means the logos was with Theos. And look at the third part, the logos himself was Theos. That means the logos was himself God. Logos or the word and God is compared equally. That means Logos is the total or the fullness of God himself. In the book of John chapter 1 verses 14 the Bible say this word or this Logos became flesh. So the entire plan of God. The purpose of God, the motive of God, the thought of God, the idea of God, the completeness of God came down in the form of a person called Yeshua. So when you look at Yeshua, you are seeing God in its fullness, God in his completeness. That is what in the book of Colossians chapter 2, 9 it is written. For in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead in bodily form. Yes, he is Logos. Now the second um, Greek word to explain the word of God is written Rema. What does the word Rema mean? Rema means the spoken word of God. Or you can say the inspired word of God. The word which comes through inspiration. That is what in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verses 4 it says. Jesus said like this and he answered and said it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word. The word written there is called rema. But by every word or rema that proceeds from the mouth of God. You see rema is inspired word. Sometimes we are inspired to talk to people. Rema also has some more depth. Rema also means the direction or the inspiration of God. It can also mean a vision or an instruction, a specific instruction to do so. God is giving you a Rema, a direction. So Logos is the complete wholeness of God, the plan of God, while Rema 
is a specific word or the word given to that situation or a guidance or an instruction. Now you can speak, we can learn about the third uh, thing or the third word about the word of God. It is called graphe. Graphe. It in the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 27, Bible speaks about graphe. It is written, and the beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures. That is called graphe. So the written word is called graphe. So let me play, uh, plan like this. The word revealed from heaven is logos. The word spoken by men or spoken through men is called rema. And the word given for writing is called graphe. Again I repeat. The word revealed from heaven is logos. Logos means the complete wholeness of the word. The word spoken or inspired is called the rema. The second part it is rema. Now the word given to be written in the scripture or the word written in the scripture is called graphe. Now very carefully we are going to look at how this logos, how this rema and how this graphe are going to work together. You have to be very very careful when you are listening this. If you have any doubts you can play this um, teaching again and again and listen it and you can understand what I am coming to say to you. So you have to understand there are three, three things work here working together. One is the logo, one is the rema and one is the graphe. How they are connected together. Understand this. Everything began with the logos. You see unless the word is given from heaven no man can speak the word. No man can write the word. So the beginning of the word or the beginning of the Bible is the logos from heaven. The logos has to come and somebody has to listen to it and that somebody has to speak. When the logos somebody speaks out, it becomes the rhema. And the same logos somebody writes down, it becomes graphe. Now you see, the logos when it's spoken becomes rema. And the logos, when it's written down, it becomes graphe. That is the first thing. Everything begins with the logos. Now you have to understand. Once the logos is given, it is written as a graphe, as a scripture. Okay, graphe means scripture. Graphe means the word which is written down. Your Bible is a graphe, where you are writing down the scriptures. Now understand, to know the Logos of God, you must read the Graphe of God. You see that? Because one day God inspired someone to write down it. The Logos was inspired and given to man. So they wrote down the Logos in a, in, in a, a book. We call it Graphe, the scripture. To now, to understand the Logos, you must read the Graphe. You must read the Graphe. Without reading the Graphe, you cannot understand the Logos. You cannot understand the Logos. Now understand one thing. It is good that the Graphe is written there or the word is there and Logos is there but you are reading it very good. Understand the third point. Unless you start Speak the word of God out. It cannot become a rhema. You see that? So Logos is revealed word to man. When the man speaks out it becomes rhema. When the word is written down it is called graphe. So now if you want to understand the Logos you have to read the graphe. And if you want the Logos to work you have to not only read it but you have to say it. Then only it becomes what? The Rema. And that is what it says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word, with the bracket, Rema of God. 
That means if you want to cast out Satan, you have to open your mouth and speak out. When you speak out, it becomes Rema. Again, I want to make it clear. Logos is given. Graphe is written. Unless you read and talk out, it cannot become Rema. You need, you have to start from Logos. Logos is written down as Graphe. And when you read the Graphe, you have to talk it out as Rema. Now, what is the plan of the devil? Devil has a plan. His main plan is to misinterpret Graphe. What is written in the Bible, devil want to misinterpret. So that the people won't get the true knowledge of Logos. So that they will make mistake in Rema. That means talking out. So devil plays with the Bible. Devil know how to misinterpret the Bible. That is how, uh, that is why the devil told to Yeshua. It is written that if you jump, what happened? He shall give his angels charge over you. So what was devil doing? He was trying to misinterpret the graphic. Devil also said like this, no? What did the devil say? It is written. So devil was pointing at the graphic. He was saying, see, see, but he was misinterpreting the logos, the divine plan of God written there. So that he was talking to Jesus, giving a wrong idea. <laughs> there are people who use scripture to create problem. <coughs> Excuse me. There are people who misinterpret <clears throat> and misquote the scriptures to give a wrong direction. There are people who could simply quote scripture without any sense. Devil also is like that. Without any direction, they know how to go to scriptures. <laughs> so understand, the devil always play with graphic. So what you need? You must need a divine intervention. So before you read your Bible, pray. Before you look at the word of God, pray. Lord Jesus, give me grace to handle the word of God. Lord Yeshua, give me the grace to understand the word of God. In the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 45 Bible say that he opened their understanding to comprehend the scriptures. The word is written graphe. So to, to understand the graphe in the real Holy Spirit you have to have the grace of God. Pray and understand Logos, Rema and Graphe are all expression of Yeshua. If you are a real student of the word of God, whatever you speak from the Bible will end up glorifying Yeshua. But you look at the modern preachers many times. They preach the word of God and end up preaching Paul. <coughs> end up preaching Abraham. End up preaching David and Goliath. End up preaching the whole Old Testament. Then no one reveals Yeshua. Understand Logos is Yeshua himself. Rema is Yeshua himself. And Graphe is Yeshua himself. In the book of Revelation chapter 19 verses 13. The Bible says he was clothed with the robe dipped in the blood. And his name was called the word of God. So Yeshua is called here as Logos. Again in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verses 3. The Bible says. God said let there be light. And there was light. So God spoke. And there was light. In the book of. John 8.12. Yeshua said. I am the light of the world. So the Logos is not only Yeshua. But the spoken Rema is also Yeshua. You got it? Not only Logos is Yeshua, the spoken word is also Yeshua. It speaks about Yeshua. Today you look, look at the messages. Nobody wants to talk about Yeshua. They want to talk about hundred things. Not at all connected. Some people become fans of Paul. Everybody want to become a Paul. 
somebody want to become peter somebody want to become abraham some want to become like samuel everybody want to be like somebody anointed but they are don't want to be like jesus because the preachers are giving wrong idea if you are preaching the logos and the rema and the grafe in the grace of god it will end up at the feet of yeshua look at grafe in the book of john chapter 5 verses 39 yeshua said you search the scriptures bracket grafe for in them you think you have eternal life and these are they which testify of me understand my brothers and sisters logos rema and grafe must reveal yeshua listen to the messages what are the messages that you are receiving online what are the lessons that you are getting are you knowing more about yeshua or about those things which are not going to impart grace in your life focus read the word word is logos revealed as grafe spoken out as rema christ bless you